Holiday dessert done simply. You don't have to go through a whole lot of effort to really wow your family and your guests. No, you don't. I mean, with a little champagne and a wonderful dessert, that's how you get it started. So joining us now with some helpful advice on creating a chef's masterpiece in the kitchen, we have Sylvia Fitzgerald, owner and creator of the Dainty Cheesecake Company. So what's the whole concept behind the Dainty Cheesecake? Well, so uh, cheesecakes, you know, are served for a crowd usually. And I decided that I think personal size cheesecakes are just the way to go because not only are they cute, but they're great to eat. Mm -hmm. And so you can sort of take the little ones in one bite, the personal size, maybe in two or three bites, and then you have the large size, which you serve for a crowd. So for me, I felt I really wanted to go toward the uh, avenue with, you know, personal and bite size. Dainty, dainty, yes. absolutely. So tell us what inspired you because I see so many different looks. I mean, really, really beautiful display. We haven't tasted it yet, but I can only imagine. Yeah. <laughs> so I love to create and I just feel like um, I grew up with cheesecake mm -hmm. and holiday time for me is so special and I feel like cheesecake on the table at a holiday is the way just to go. you know yeah. hits all bases let me ask you because <laughs> i've had some terrible cheesecakes before never yours of course but <laughs> you said there's some keys to really making sure if you are preparing it at home that you get a nice not so dry cheesecake yes. and it's fluffy so slow and low is the way to go hmm. basically so you're going to start out with a really low oven like 325 okay. and you have to bake it for close to an hour mm -hmm. but also a water bath is a must a water bath is something that the cheesecake actually sits in. It's usually you can use a piece of tin foil mm -hmm. to cover up the sides of your springform pan, right. whatever pan you're using so the water doesn't leak in. But the water bath is a must because it keeps the moisture in the oven and that's what keeps the cheesecake moist when you bite into it. It keeps it from cracking as long as you cook it um, for the time allotted. Just like wow. meat, slow and low. Yes. <laughs> slow and yes, low. Yes, absolutely. I, I want to ask you if you could explain yes. some of these things. Of uh, this course. right here is <laughs> eye popping. Okay, so this is sugared cranberries and this is uh, some rosemary sprigs that I just did a simple syrup. Uh, I have the recipe on my website if you're interested. This is a just a great decorative way to start the holiday season, mm. I should say, with, on the table. Um, and it's not hard to do. It just takes a little bit of time, but the result is yeah, fantastic. It's and you said so, you kind of take that off yeah, most likely so you and can then just, cut it. So this is really like an herb, so I would not eat that. But the cranberries are right. delicious with the sugar. And then you brought some other mm -hmm. items that so, you could adorn your cheesecake yeah, with. Yeah, so these are some simple garnishes. Uh, this is my go-to, strawberries. I love mm. strawberries. Um, and they just look so beautiful. Another Amen. thing that you can do <laughs> on your cheesecake, if you didn't want to do all this, you could just cut these strawberries up in half right. and just kind of go around and yeah. make a pattern. Orange. It looks so gorgeous and you can eat it all. Um, this right here is chopped nuts, okay. mm -hmm. which is definitely a, yeah, a staple. These are some peppermint crunch candies, mm -hmm. which yeah. I love. I have a um, chocolate cheesecake on my website and this is kind of what's sprinkled on top of the whipped cream with some chocolate syrup. Okay. <laughs> Nick is getting I'm anxious. To show everything. Okay. I am. I've been. I've been staring at that. And by the way, when you said chocolate, oh, yes, you, you showed that you didn't Sorry. grow up here in Jacksonville. Uh, yes, <laughs> I'm. Uh, I'm from New York originally. Is is that the original cheesecake? I feel uh, like well, in New York. Yeah, that's uh, pretty much where it's real popular. It's a New mm -hmm. York style, and this is the style that I serve. New okay, York so style. he's tasting. The... That's the chocolate ganache. Oh. Well, because that Melanie is... said I wasn't allowed to go near <laughs> that one. Hey, wasn't this allowed near the centerpiece. Me. Okay, and this is just your. Regular? Yes. Yeah, so these oh are, this is a whipped cream dream. That is a strawberries and cream, caramel pecan, oh and this is our cookies and cream. Yeah. And what's your website, just in case people it's don't want to do any uh, of the yeah. work? www.daintycheesecake.com. Okay. And you can reach us on Instagram, Facebook. You can call us, 904-647-4133. Right. Perfect. Yeah. Thank and, you for and coming how, in. How early do people need to order if they want to get so this I on the have, holiday uh, table? So I have pre-orders out now. Okay. Um, and you can place your order. And the closing date, I believe, is December 20th. All right. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Fun. And so all of this is made possible. I belong to a woman's food group. Uh-huh. Mm. The, the Women's, women's food, food Alliance. Alliance. Yeah. With um, Lee Court. And she's the one that really sort of propels my business because she sort of, you know, yeah, you know, spreads it all throughout Jacksonville, which yeah. is a great thing. So I so really, yeah, thank you. I'm yeah. really happy. All right, about thank you that. so much. Awesome. So we have.